Okay, I'm reloaded. Big Dappuccino here. This is going to be show and tell 200. Um, I didn't think this was going to be a, a, a extensive haul because the last haul I had was pretty extensive. And early in the week, it didn't seem like I was going to have time to hit the pegs. But I ended up hitting the pegs. And I was able, well, I found most of my main, I found my main lines at Safeway, Harris Teeter, which are grocery stores for my international viewers. And uh, Target, I went was able to go to Target. I only got two from Target. But um, I was able to get, as you can see, some premiums. And let's get into it without further ado. First, what we have here is this DeLorean Alpha 5 HW Green Speed. And I really haven't heard too much press on this. Maybe because I don't pick up car magazines like I did. But you thought it would come up on content and stuff like that. Because I did used to do a lot of, well, watch a lot of content. Some of it fell off, like donut media and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, this is supposed to be the new DeLorean. They revived the company. And this is supposed to be an all electric car. It's supposed to have gold wing doors and everything. It's got headlight and tail light details, so that's cool. So we we might keep that up there. Some of these main lines we're gonna put in the bag. And next we have the seventy three Honda Civic Custom from Compact Kings. No headlights, no tail lights. Cool deco. It's a cool casting. This would be great for premium whenever they do it. Because the way it looks up here, they do this lights and do all their detail. It's going to be a cool little uh, casting. But uh, right now, it's going in the bag. They don't have no details. Um, we had a 73 Jeep J10 with the HW Hot Trucks. It's got a cool little ring on it. I guess it's Rally Racing, just like the other one's Rally theme. I love the colors on this, but again, it doesn't have that's that's the uh molding of the front clip. So no details. You go in the bag. We got this uh, 67 Lotus Type 49 HW Race Day. Look like a Formula One car. I don't know when these used to be all the rage, like in the 80s. Showing my age, but oh well. I was a kid back then, so. Man, it's a cool. All this detail. And it has a little race driver in there. Race car driver. Team Lotus on the side. But you're going in the bag. It's new for 2024. Then we got something that was similar to the uh, what we just picked up. I don't feel like pull, pulling it out from under the. Because uh, I got my most of my cars back here covered. So, to make sure that you more attention is paid to what I'm doing. And we had a 91 Mazda MX-5 Miata. And I just had, I think it was race day? No, Martin Classics. I had some old stock I found at Marshalls from 2022, I want to say. And I had the olive green uh, convertible with tan interior. This is dope though. It's got it's got the tail lights done and the front indicator, so 
It stays. It stays. Mm -mm. It stays here. Okay. We have the Pontiac Aztec Custom HW Modified. I think I had a red or orange color variation of this not too long ago. I don't. Yeah, I think this is my second time getting it, and it does have headlight detail, so it's got to stay. That's the rules. Um, we got the Volkswagen ID Buzz, which a lot of people are going crazy about this thing. VW Vans. It's got headlight tail light detail, so it stays. I like the colors on it. It looks pretty practical. And it even has side mirrors. So it looked like a pretty good cast. So it's gonna stay. So more than likely these are the main lines that's gonna be in when I do the odds and ends video. I was able to pick this up from Harris Teeter, the grocery store, where I was able to Can I find main lines there. No, I just picked this up during that Harris Teeter run. I was there to pick up some groceries, some regular stuff, you know, toiletries, what have you. And they had this and the other MTV one with the Moon Man on it. I decided not to get that because it's a, uh, it's cool, but it's a um, fantasy cast, man. 77 I can pay sir and I passed this by once before I think at Target I want to say either Target or Hobby Lobby I decided to pick it up this time because it does have um, tail light detail and headlight detail of course it's a premium not really that much it does but they're not colored in and of course, this is the Beavis and Butthead. I used to watch that TV show. In fact, I like Mike Judge a lot. He, of course, is the creator who created Beavis and Butthead, also created King of the Hill. And I used to watch the show that he had on, I'm gonna say, was that HBO or Showtime? It was called Mike Judge's Tour Bus. And it was hilarious. But they were doing real stories of, like, entertainers from the 1950s to the 1980s. I mean, everybody from Jerry Lee Lewis to, uh, who else he do? Carl Perkins, I think. I think, uh, did he do Willie Nelson? He did a bunch of people. He did Rick James. It was hilarious. I think he did George Clinton. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. If you are a fan of music, I I I um recommend that show. It's animated, but it it man it tells the stories behind the scenes stories and it has the real people, and they're all animated. You know, when they're telling the stories, like interview, like a documentary, it's pretty cool. And they do recreations of some of the stories. It's, it's, it's pretty, I thought it was pretty hilarious. I was entertained, so. And this is the Murph Bill from Johnny Lightning. I had this since, I want to say 20, 2022. I think I got it in 2023, though, for some reason. But that's when the casting came out originally, 2022, according to the base. But it's the same thing. This is, of course, Wayne and Garth Mobile from Wayne's World. I think it was in both movies. And, of course... I don't know if there's a connection because to me, um, Beavis and Butthead are some way, there's something about them that is similar to Wayne and Garth, even though Wayne and Garth are more industrious and these guys 
pretty much loafing on the couch. At least they have a cable access show that went pretty much and had real gas up there. Like you would see people like Ozzy Osbourne and stuff like that pop up when they had it on Saturday Night Live where it originated from. It's the Murphy Mobile. So it'll be cool to compare this, compare this in Oz and Ends, but just wanted to have that out to make the connection. Uh, next, we have the Dotson King Cab Baja Custom. I got this from Target, my Target haul, which was pretty much the other day. And this is part of a set called Terra Trek, which I didn't even hear anything about this thing coming out. I just picked this up because it's the uh, Dotson King Cab, and I always like Dotson trucks. I think. 80s late 80s them and toyota was going at it mazda had a truck too but the toyota truck and the and the dotson truck they were going back and forth from the late 80s i want to say maybe early 90s maybe before a little bit before that but definitely late 80s early 90s like the uh small trucks and I seen most of these. I don't think I seen the I saw the Jeep Gladiator. I think I seen all of these. I I almost picked up the Toyota Cruiser, put that back. I definitely put had picked up the Mitsubishi first and put that back. I was gonna pick up the Alpha, the Hummer too, the H1. I decided to pick that, put that back when I saw what I saw next down the aisle. And it was these, this Auto World and these Johnny Lightnings. Something had to go back. So I wasn't putting these back. So first we got in this Target hall, we got a 1970 Chevy Kingswood Estate. And they say this is a 2024 release. I got a Toyota Celica in there, but it's black. I like the white one in the police delivery. And they got this Dodge Caravan. I want one of those. I probably want the white one, though. And it's in Phantom Blue Poly. And I have one of these, but I think I have a 69. I'm hoping I have a 69. I hope I don't have the same color in the same year. So I keep my fingers crossed. We'll see. But I think the one I have is a 69. I have one that's similar. So that's a pretty cool addition to the casting because I love Chevys. Of course, this is based on the Impala. So. Next, we have something that I've been looking for for a while. And I didn't think it would, it would get done because it was not all that popular anymore. You rarely see these cars. I knew somebody who had these. I'm going to say a family member. During like that. 70s. They had one. during. The, they still had it during the 80s too. Like the early 80s to probably late 80s. And then probably got rid of it. And it's a 1974. I think they had a 77 though. 1974 Ford Thunderbird. And at first, I was not liking these lights, but I guess that's the way these lights were. I was hoping to get the one with the hideaway lights that had the bird over the panels. But we got what we got. So the one I'm thinking about, I think that is the 77 body style, 76 or 77. This is earlier. And basically... It's, it's basically like a, a low-grade Lincoln. That's basically what this is. A low-grade Lincoln. So 
but I'm happy to have it. And a green room, showroom floor, and they're new for 2024. And this is what you can get. And I think I got, that's where my GMC Suburban came from. The yellow one that I had in the last video. I think it came from this same series. I got that one at um, Hobby Lobby. And I got the Cadillac Eldorado convertible. This is the probably the first one I snatched up. 1975. And I wish the interior was tan or either black, though. I don't like the way the interior is lighter than the actual body. Uh, that weird color. It might have been authentic, but it don't look too kosher to me. I think it should have been either white or either black. That's just me, because the top maybe is supposed to be off-white, but it looks like a lime color. And I don't know why they chose that, but I like the body paint. I love the wheels on this. I love the details, so everything else looks correct in my eyes. And like I said, this is new for 2024. And there we go. Reached the milestone. And the thing about these Johnny Whiteness, I mean, green lights, I mean, they're the same cost as car culture. So give me those anytime. So I want to thank the subscribers for holding me down. Uh, like I always say, this is not the best diecast channel, it's not the worst either. Model here is to show a little love for the diecast. Um, random viewers who happen upon this channel, I hope you decide to excuse me to subscribe to the notification button. Leave a like or dislike behind. Leave a comment behind. It's always good to get to get feedback. Always trying to involve this channel, trying to uh, make it better. And till the next video, peace and blessings. I just want to thank y'all for y'all time. And this is a milestone video because it's 200. I've done 200 of these show and tell videos. And I think I'm close to my anniversary or it passed. So I've been doing content online for diecast for five years. So... It's a milestone. I didn't think I would be doing it this long. Many times I wanted to quit. or, But the hobby, like I always say, this hobby chose me. I didn't choose it. So, peace and blessings. Until the next video. Big Dad Pacino signing out.